Welcome to Spaceverse, your portal to cosmic adventures. Something genuinely remarkable has been caught on record by the James Webb Telescope. Lights that seem like city lights, emanating from an extremely distant location 7 trillion miles away. The prospect of extraterrestrial life has been piqued by this finding. Strange, brilliant lights were discovered when the telescope focused on Proxima Centauri b, the exoplanet nearest to our solar system. Is it possible that these lights represent a different culture? We can learn a lot about these phenomena that will alter our cosmic perspective by investigating how the James Webb Telescope found them. A trace of extraterrestrial life from afar. People from all walks of life have been eager to see what life looks like outside our solar system for quite some time. We were overjoyed to see even a glimmer of proof that something might be out there. Then, a watershed moment arrived. The James Webb Space Telescope confirmed the existence of extraterrestrial life. This massive telescope found something interesting on the distant exoplanet Proxima Centauri b as it surveyed the cosmos. It may have discovered an extraterrestrial metropolis on this faraway planet after spotting lights that resemble those found in earthly cities. Among scientists, this hypothesis has generated a great deal of enthusiasm and interest. Their curiosity is piqued since this could be the kind of breakthrough they've been seeking. This finding raises the possibility that extraterrestrial intelligence may be present, with societies structured in ways that we have not yet completely understood. When NASA engineers look at these seemingly urban lights from 7 trillion miles away, they are astounded and wonder how long they have been visible in space, patiently waiting for our technology to catch up with them. The astronomer from Columbia University, David Kipping, said that the planet with these lights was quite complicated. This exoplanet's peculiar connection to its host star, Proxima Centauri, explains why it acts differently from typical rocky planets, which typically soak up solar radiation and emit infrared heat. Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, we now know how important it is. Understanding the atmospheric conditions of Proxima b relies on the telescope's capacity to detect infrared wavelengths, which were critical in finding the planet's peculiar thermal signature. In the future, scientists hope to use this telescope to learn more about this planet's atmosphere and determine if it may support life. Nighttime observations of Proxima Centauri b are possible thanks to the James Webb Telescope's sensitivity to infrared light. In the pitch blackness of space, many space telescopes struggle to pick up on faint lights. Nevertheless, the James Webb Telescope is able to make out the faintest of light sources. Because of this, it is a perfect instrument for verifying the veracity of the alleged city lights on the shadow side of Proxima b. Any artificial light in space can be picked up by the telescope as long as it doesn't exceed a very restricted frequency range, significantly narrower than that of regular stars. There is a dynamic interaction between Proxima b and its star. The planet's spectral edge reflects light, and many solar panels on the day side collect the star's tremendous energy. The planet goes through the same day-night cycle as Earth as it circles Proxima Centauri with very hot days and very cold nights. The planet's composition is a major factor in the vast temperature variations that it endures. Consider the tremendous temperature gradient between day and night on Proxima b in the absence of an atmosphere. If oceans and atmospheric gases didn't act as a buffer, the day side would get very hot and the night side would get very cold. Astronomers are particularly interested in this sharp temperature swing because it provides information on Proxima b's atmosphere. By analyzing the planet's thermal emissions, the James Webb Space Telescope can provide important information on its atmospheric features thanks to its unparalleled infrared imaging capabilities. Curiously, every 1-1.2 Earth days, the James Webb Telescope can observe Proxima b's day and night in great detail because its orbital period is identical to Earth's. Assuming the planet does in fact have an atmosphere, the following stage is to study its chemical composition to ascertain whether or not it is habitable. When oxygen, water vapor, and methane are present, it means the environment is suitable for human habitation. It would be evidence that the planet could support life if these ingredients were present. For this, the difficult but necessary work of accurately capturing and analyzing light as it travels through the planet's atmosphere must be undertaken. James Webb Telescope is mostly built for other things, yet it can characterize planetary atmospheres very well. Variations in the concentrations of carbon dioxide, methane, and water vapor are its area of expertise. Ozone is a good sign of a healthy atmosphere, 
And although the telescope has some problems detecting bonded oxygen, a critical sign of life, it can look for other key components. The search for distant worlds is expanding as a result of the results from the James Webb Space Telescope, which could one day reveal whether or not we are alone in the universe. Going to new worlds with Webb. Keep in mind that there is a cap on how many habitable worlds can be observed by the James Webb Space Telescope in relation to Earth's proximity. The extremely large telescope, ILT, a ground-based observatory scheduled to start operations in 2028, is being used by astronomers for more in-depth investigations of the atmosphere. The purpose of the Extra Light Telescope, LT, is to shed light on the possible habitability of other exoplanets by analyzing their atmospheric systems in greater detail. Researchers can hardly wait for ELT and similar future space telescopes to begin collecting data. While we wait, the James Webb Space Telescope will continue to play a crucial role in our mission to study faraway exoplanets. The Webb Telescope has its limits, yet it is nevertheless providing incredible discoveries that could change the way we see the universe forever. For future space telescopes, scientists have ambitious ideas. In order to make the planets that circle these stars more visible, they are trying to reduce the brightness of the stars themselves. Imagine it as putting your palm over your eyes on a sunny day to improve your vision. In order to investigate the feeble light reflected off other planets, these future telescopes will be able to see better by lowering the starlight. They can use this information to determine whether the planet's atmosphere is habitable. However, this isn't an easy task. Distinguishing gases released into space by volcanic eruptions from those released by living beings is an important task for scientists. They're devoted to learning more about these distant worlds so they can identify genuine life signals and avoid being misled by seemingly innocuous natural processes. We are getting a preview of what these future investigations may find thanks to the Webb Telescope. We are getting closer to comprehending the intricate cosmos and our role in it as our space exploration and expanding human knowledge continue to push the limits of what is known. People have been asking if there is anybody else out there since the beginning of time. Many scientific investigations are still motivated by this question. The James Webb Telescope is presently in orbit around the Sun, observing planetary systems in search of potential extraterrestrial life. Many now hold the view that extraterrestrial beings may be out there, patiently waiting for us to find them. Two American astronomers, Thomas Pearson and Jill Tarter, launched the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, SETI, in 1984 to attempt to resolve this long-standing mystery. They established a charitable organization to monitor space for radio waves, which may travel great distances undisturbed. That is why they are employing the 42 radio telescopes that make up the Allen Telescope Array in the California foothills. They are specifically designed for this task. In spite of SETI's best efforts spanning more than three decades, no radio signals that might be definitively attributed to extraterrestrial origins have been detected. However, Jill Tarter maintains her optimism. In her opinion, modern technology gives them a fighting chance of finding something. The possibility of Earthlings uniting in this thrilling quest for extraterrestrial companionship is something she has expressed her desire for. A recent NASA report suggested that the James Webb Space Telescope may have seen city lights on a planet quite close to Earth, which has generated a lot of interest. As of right now, the JWST is our best tool for space exploration. A million light years beyond Earth, it is observing the cosmos and relaying precise data about its early stages. Our understanding of the formation of galaxies, stars, and planets is enhanced by its ability to detect previously unseen intricacies. Using the JWST's state-of-the-art technology, such as its incredibly fine camera and specialized filters, astronomers are able to study and make sense of the nuanced colors around stars and planets. The physical and chemical composition of distant regions light years away can be better understood with the help of this telescope, which detects specific wavelengths of light. In addition to passively observing, the Webb Telescope is actively mining extraterrestrial atmospheres for the faintest signs of life by means of its unparalleled capacity to filter through space and time. Already, it has uncovered some astounding facts, such as the fact that large galaxies contain far more mass than previously believed. This has caused scientists to reconsider their long-held beliefs regarding the Big Bang and its expansion. Discoveries made by the JWST increase our curiosity about other worlds and their potential habitability, and our desire to learn more about them grows with each passing day. 
Emerging evidence in the search for extraterrestrial life. The JWST is currently allowing humanity to reach previously uncharted depths in space. As a result, we are able to learn more about faraway worlds and get fresh insights that may help us answer some important concerns about them. Our understanding of extrasolar planets was severely limited 20 years ago. More than 4,000 exoplanets have been discovered by astronomers since then, demonstrating the boundless potential of human inquisitiveness and technological prowess. These findings, however, are only the tip of the iceberg, according to NASA. They hold the belief that the universe is truly teeming with exoplanets, which are yet to be discovered. The search for extraterrestrial life has not halted scientific investigations into space. A sign that they could be making progress appears every once in a while. For example, on its way to Jupiter, the Galileo spacecraft inadvertently discovered a signal that may indicate the presence of extraterrestrial life. This was a monumental event since it marked the first discovery of a biosignature, specifically the Vegetation Red Edge VRE. The VRE uses light bouncing off objects to search for life in a novel way. The James Webb Space Telescope is prepared to learn more about extraterrestrial life thanks to the VRE, which will let it track the orbits of planets that may be habitable, tucked away in the ideal zone surrounding their stars. If these signs materialize, the virtual reality engine has the potential to revolutionize our understanding of the universe by leading us to extraterrestrial intelligence. An exciting new era of space exploration, delving into the universe's uncharted corners, may begin with this. Just imagine, as the sun's rays travel through the atmosphere, they split into rays of varying wavelengths, which the atoms and molecules within those layers absorb. Spectroscopy allows us to read this process because it produces a unique spectral signature as it continues. This signature is like a special form of fingerprint. For the most part, experts are of the opinion that the Webb telescope will be able to detect starlight penetrating a planet's atmosphere. This new information suggests that the James Webb Space Telescope may provide the missing link in our quest to understand the composition of the atmospheres of these faraway planets. The atmospheres of planets similar to Earth often contain a combination of nitrogen, oxygen, and carbon dioxide. There may be other types of life or even advanced civilizations on these planets, but the lack of odd, rare chemicals suggests that they aren't habitable. As an example, consider chlorofluorocarbons, or CFCs. These are synthetic compounds that find widespread industrial and household use, most notably in refrigerators. The discovery of these manufactured compounds in the atmosphere of a faraway planet by the JWST would constitute irrefutable proof of the existence of intelligent life beyond our solar system. Astronomers would have a whole new arena to investigate the chemical composition of extraterrestrial atmospheres and, who knows, maybe even the possibility of extraterrestrial civilizations if such a finding were to be made. Beyond what we can observe and experience in terms of biology here on Earth, the possibilities opened up by contemplating life beyond our planet are vast. The truth may be significantly more diverse and harsh than the idyllic, temperate climates we often picture for life. For example, consider extremophiles. These are primarily bacterial organisms that completely disprove our conventional notions of what constitutes a livable environment. Even in what other species would consider to be absolutely catastrophic circumstances, these hardy creatures not only survive, but flourish. They are able to survive in extremely acidic environments with pH levels below 3, and they can withstand temperatures as high as 250 degrees Fahrenheit. The fact that they persist in the face of adversity is a moving testimony to the strength of the human spirit. What we know about the cosmos is being tested by the prospect of discovering life in unexpected places as our quest for habitable planets takes new directions. The quest for extraterrestrial life. In light of this, it is clear that our search for extraterrestrial life must be extensive and all-encompassing, given the size and variety of the universe. An excellent area to begin this type of research would be planets that resemble Earth and orbit stars that are comparable to our Sun. However, one must also maintain an open mind and think about out-of-the-ordinary possibilities, such as the possibility of visiting exoplanets orbiting red dwarf stars, which are ubiquitous in the cosmos. Though these stars aren't quite as blazing or toasty as the Sun, they can provide interesting places to test out different kinds of life. Red dwarf stars have a longer lifetime than average stars, which means there is more time for the complex, gradual processes that lead to life to unfold. Consider the TRAPPIST-1 system as an illustration. 
a faint red dwarf star and seven Earth-like rocky planets make up its stellar system. It is believed that three of these are in the habitable zone, where they may have surface water in liquid form. The TRAPPIST-1 star may be able to sustain life despite its size and temperature differences with the Sun, which warms Earth. Scientists are hoping to learn more about the possible life forms in the TRAPPIST-1 planetary system by analyzing the light that this star emits. The JWST conducted extensive research and determined that this star is situated in the constellation Leo, approximately 41 light years away from Earth. This location is promising for further investigations. As the primary investigator on this project in the University of Colorado Boulder, Ward Howard, a NASA Sagan fellow, could not contain his enthusiasm for these findings. He made the comment that the JWST has allowed us to search for planets orbiting other stars with secondary atmospheres comparable to Earth's for the first time. In order to comprehend the planetary systems of these stars, he emphasized, knowledge of these stars is vital. With a distance of only 4.25 light years from the Sun, Proxima Centauri stands out among the galaxy's many stars as the one nearest to Earth. Because of its dim light, this star is difficult for Earthlings to see in the night sky. Because of its low luminosity, any planets that could support life would have to circle the Sun at a significantly closer distance than Earth does in order to maintain an environment favorable to life. In a fascinating discovery made by scientists on August 24, 2016, they found a planet that was 1.3 times Earth's mass and located precisely within Proxima Centauri's habitable zone. Light levels here are optimal, allowing ice to melt and perhaps allowing life to take root. Proxima Centauri is a tiny red star, and the intriguing planet Proxima b orbits it at a distance of about 4.6 million miles. Because of its closeness to its star, it faces several threats that might make life there difficult to sustain. The strong solar winds that originate from Proxima Centauri pose a serious threat since they have the ability to remove the planet's atmosphere. But even with all these difficulties, Proxima b still gets enough light from its star to keep the planet warm enough to have liquid water on board, which is essential for life. Proxima b also experiences tidal locking as a result of its close orbit around its star. What this means is that the planet's rotation causes one side to face the star and get sunlight all the time, while the other side stays in perpetual darkness. One hemisphere may be reveling in endless daylight, while the other is trapped in eternal night. This unique condition provides a dramatic contrast between the two. There are some parallels to the interaction between the Moon and Earth, in which the same side of the Moon is constantly visible to Earth. Proxima Centauri may be little in size, but it could theoretically have life-supporting environments similar to Earth's thanks to its abundant heat and light. Is the presence of these peculiar lights on Proxima Centauri b, which resemble cities, evidence of advanced extraterrestrial life? Or is there another theory that hasn't been explored here? A heartfelt thank you for being here with us today as we come to the end of our journey at Spaceverse. Your support is what drives our investigation of the cosmos. Remember to hit the notification bell and subscribe to our channel so that you can continue to explore with us. See you until the next time we cross paths in the cosmos.